I'm happy to be back here. It's been a while since I've been back here and um, just great to be in this part of the world and, and see a lot of faces that I haven't seen in quite some time. So uh, first and foremost, just happy to be here. Um, you know, when I look up at that wall and I see the numbers and names, uh, I, I learned about who the man was in Dick Hauser and how great of a man he was. And then growing up in South Georgia, it was all the Drew brothers. And uh, Watch J.D. Drew hit a ton of homers here along his, uh, alongside Stephen as well. For me, it's, it, it's, it truly is hard to put it into words to see my name and number against the wall next to this man's right here. Mike Martin is the greatest college baseball coach of all time. He's a better person and uh, loving what an honor to be able to play for you. And um, I look at that wall and I'm so grateful, but for me, that number 11 will, will always stand alone for me. So 11, glad to be here with you today. I've been on the other side of a lot of pregame ceremonies, so I'm gonna to try to not take too long, because I know there's nothing worse than trying to get your pitcher ready and somebody blabs too much, so. Um, <laughs> share a couple of stories. Uh, about 20 years ago, I was sitting against that chain link fence on those right field bleachers with this woman right here. We had snuck down to watch a game. It was my senior in high school. I could see the pitchers warming up in the bullpen, uh, playing Auburn, and remember it like yesterday, and remembering just what a thrill it would be to be able to step on this field, co compete for the Seminoles, uh, play for 11, and uh, truly, that was going to be a dream come true for me. Just to be able to be on this field, uh, wear these colors proudly, uh, and play as hard as we could to try to, to win a championship. So when I got here, it didn't take long to understand that it was just a, a really special place for a lot of different reasons. But the main reason that you realize it's special is, is the people, it's the staff, your teammates, it's the coaches, it's the fans, it's the animals of Section B. I got to play with one of my brothers here. Um, doesn't get much better. So, freshman year, this is a story that I took with me uh, my entire career and will for the rest of my life. It was a little bit of a tough love story. We're out in right field, 11's out there, and I'd had a little bit of back trouble my senior year of high school. I don't think the drill was going well because I started to get a little bit whiny. And I uh, went up to 11 and I said, 11, you know about my back, right? And he he kind of looked at me. He walks in real close and goes, I know about your back, BB. And I don't ever want to hear about it again. <laughs> and you know what? At the moment it caught me off guard, but once I realized what he was doing, he was teaching me a valuable lesson. That valuable lesson was, if you take your mind somewhere, your body's gonna follow. And we as baseball players know that better than anybody with the daily grind. And it's 11, it's something that I use throughout my entire career and uh, plan to use as I train these knuckleheads over here. <laughs> so, thank you for that. Um, in closing, Coach Bell, good luck to your team the rest of the year. All the best to y'all. Wayne, good luck to you guys. Bring a championship back to town. Yeah.